Okay, guys, this is a warning message to the women that were a part of Shanika Byers' mentor group. God said that this is her final and last judgment, okay, to send forth out this message to her and her bulldogs, which is what Keyshonda Boyd actually referred to them as, because Keyshonda, which I'm going to clip in a video of her saying this, and she was a part of that group, and how Shanika Byers used to send people out to dislike and to shadow ban other smaller channels that called them out for being frost prophets. God said this is her last warning and it's also those women's last warning, whether I called you out or not. And I'm not done calling people out, but God said every time I make a video and I call them out, Shanika will literally listen to what I'm saying in the video. And this is what God told me. God said that after I had said um, in the prophetic diary, um, prophetic word against her, right? I said, you know, a lot of these women have stepped off of their ministries. God said, every time I say stuff like that, it provokes Shanika to reach out to these women to tell them, hey, don't give up. Don't do this. Don't do that. So she's basically encouraging them to grieve the Holy Spirit, the correction of the Holy Spirit and forcing them to make videos, which is what's causing people to be in deception. You're not fighting me, Shanika. You're not fighting Keyshonda. You're legitly fighting God at this moment. And you have a lot of blood on your hands. Before I clip in this video of what Keyshonda exposed about Shanika Byers in that entire group she was hosting, um, I want you guys to give Keyshonda grace because one, she looks like, and you can just tell she's been through a lot of spiritual manipulation when she was releasing this information out to other people. And she knew she was kind of angry that people weren't um, taking her serious or believing her because Shanika had deceived so many people, okay? But on the flip side, you have to look at it all things from God's perspective. Would she have called this situation out had she not had gotten done dirty by Shanika Byers? And see, I tell you guys this. I've said I've done a teaching on this before, how some people, even myself included, you know, if we're benefiting off of somebody else's evil actions, we don't mind letting it go on. But the moment it affects us, then we scream and cry and see and see, we can't be like that. We can't allow for other souls to be affected. But then when we get affected, it's a problem. But not only that, you know, a God clearly allowed for the situation in this breakdown of relationship to happen so that things could get exposed publicly so you want to fight hey glory be to god <laughs> i trusted you i opened my channel to you i was a friend to you i was a friend i was a friend to you the word of God says, in order for you to obtain friends, you must first show yourself friendly. I showed myself friendly to you. I was excited about you. I, and I told people about you on my channel, not knowing that you were a serpent in the garden. You were a serpent in the garden. You want to talk about me and you want to try to tear my character down? Well, won't you tell people about how you were stalking and monitoring Marcus Rogers channel, Carrie Ann channel, and why in the world do I think that you had something to do with Ernest Sneed channel disappearing? Because it was so funny because you knew before anybody else knew. How did you know his channel was gone unless you had to Google his name? In order for anybody to have found out that his channel was gone, you had to first type in Ernest Sneed's name and realize his channel was gone. You called me to tell me his channel was gone. So you say you ready for anything? I got it. You sitting there, you preparing. You got those people. See, I'm not worried about it. You know how you got your bulldogs to attack April's channel? How you got your bulldogs to give her videos a thumbs down so people could shadow ban her channel? You know you Satan, you demon, you devil from the pits of hell. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Shanika Byers and every woman that was attached, those bulldogs that was what Keyshonda said, which is exactly the correct word, bulldogs, dogs that take orders from somebody else, lowlifes, okay? You're willing to sit here and allow for this Jezebel, this queen of evil principalities to dwell over innocent subscribers, innocent children of God, because you guys are terrified to say and speak up in the situation. Shanika Byers is a total witch. Notice how in that video, Keyshonda literally said, you know, how did you know that this person's profile was moved? You was the one that came and called us. This woman is pretending to be a woman of God, but then coming in the background, gossiping on the phone about other people's ministries being deleted because she's doing witchcraft up against them. Make it make sense. Why have you guys allowed for this woman to stay on here? Shame on to anybody who comes into agreement with her.
Shanika Byers and members, okay? Because you guys know who you are. Notice how Shanika Byers no longer allows for memberships to be purchased on her channel. And it's because God had judged her, right? So she still contacts those women behind the scenes, okay? I don't care what nobody says. I know when God speaks something to me, it to be true. I don't believe a face value of somebody over the word of God and the revelation of God. Because at the end of the day, God will show you what's going on in the houses of the wicked and there's scripture to back it up. There's a channel that called me out, right? And that channel is called Vessel of Yahweh or something like that, right? And it has a video exposing me, calling me all types of narcissists and everything like that. Mind you, that's the language of Shanika Byers. And this is how you see how Satan will always get exposed. OK, what's done and said in the dark will always get exposed. She was calling someone on her own friend group at some point, a narcissist and a Jezebel turned around and made a fake channel that is not even attached to her ministry. These women have other um, YouTube channels set up that are not attached to their ministries and they're pretending to be other people in the body of Christ and they're making these fake channels up because they're too they're such cowards that they don't want to speak or say something against me to my face so they try to make it seem like it's somebody else so that they can keep their little pristine um you know uh fake and uh, false image of themselves right God showed me in a dream Shanika Byers recording me, right? And so I remember thinking like, Lord, what is this dream about? And then God showed me that channel of her trying to call my ministry out. And God said, that is her operating behind that ministry. That is her and her friend group and her and that mentor group that is taking turns logging into that and trying to make fake videos up about you. And she's adding and including other people who are a part of her and who she is in contact with. And so when I heard that, I'm like, okay, God, like, that's crazy. And I believe that one thing about me, I'm a believer, it, right? Kishana just confirmed something to me as soon as she said narcissist and all that I felt Holy Spirit so that was confirmation that she that's the language Shanika speaks about they're always calling someone a narcissist but those are some of the most deep demonic individuals you'll ever engage with in your life. God said that there are people that used to be in her group or or that have released themselves away from those groups that seem to wonder, how is Shanika still surviving? If, you, if you're punishing me, God, for coming into contact with her, how is her channel still surviving? The thing, guys, is it's not it's not surviving, okay? Shanika Byers is purchasing um, views, okay? And this is the crazy thing. If you look at her likes on her... Um, what's it called on her channel they haven't increased okay so she's purchasing views and she's getting these 80k 20k views but if you look at her likes it's not increasing at all she has the same amount of people engaged in her channel but she's given a false image of herself to make it seem like she's not being judged because god is humbling this woman in all areas okay she took down her membership she no longer does her um coaching classes god is constantly telling her to remove her um what's it called her playlists that are geared specifically towards women which is what i called out on my community channel if you look in her post right it says thank you all for supporting my biblical wisdom for women in their prime podcasts and videos but unfortunately they have been removed from this channel indefinitely for now god only wants me to focus on imparting prayers prophetic words teachings and encourage for your edification and spiritual growth in the lord um i'm sorry because I know for me, when I start a playlist that is being guided by God, he won't tell me to take my stuff down. That's why I'm saying they'll sit here and try to justify the correction and the rebuke of the Lord. And then they'll turn around and lie on God to make it seem like God didn't tell them the truth in the first place as far as what to post on their channel. They are doing what they want on their ministries. They are not following the holy, the leading or the um, correction of the Holy Spirit at this hour. OK, and you have to understand that anybody that shares this woman's video is in connection and in agreement with what she is doing she's trying to maintain her composure during this judgment season and god is saying stagger right i heard the word stagger um a couple of days ago and god says that sometimes if you don't want to get on your knees in true repentance and humble yourself before god god will a lot of times have to put his foot on your neck and your back and stagger you down to repentance okay and he does that by allowing for satan to sift people who don't really truly have faith if you look at the book i just exposed how peter is actually not in heaven because at one point peter had rejected um after he made jesus uh, made a vow to jesus oh i'll i'll um 
follow you to death. He ran after persecution. God gave him grace to continue on in his ministry, but then he ended up getting carried away by a seducing spirit, which was Apostle Paul. And you'll notice that Apostle John never even was in contact with this man because Jesus had warned them about which voices to follow. Shanika Byers and everybody that was a part of that ministry group is currently being sifted, sifted in their influence, sifted in their money, sifted in their um, recognition, sifted in their revelation. There's a famine in the word of God in the land currently because people are not speaking the word of God. They're speaking vain imaginations. They're speaking their own ideas. And then they're trying to attach Jesus's name on it to make it seem like he's verifying their evil, wicked ways. He is not about to sit here and co-sign the strategies and tactics of the enemy. Please believe that. Shanika is another one that will sit here and try to speak about kingdom marriages while being married to somebody she's not supposed to be with. That's why you haven't seen, seen her husband. They'll, oh, I don't want the witchcraft and this, this, and to come up against her. If God put that person together, who is somebody else to tear apart what God put together? So why can't you show the man? They're not showing the men because they know that once they get on here and give that evil testimony, that that marriage is going to fall apart because it's already in the works of falling apart. Shanika Byers and all those younger women that are still on here attached in their ministries are being brought down okay the fruitfulness over them has already come to a complete stop they're trying to make it seem like it hasn't but at the end of the day our spirit will bear witness this is why many of us are feeling led to completely not watch these people okay and even me i'm called to watch certain videos when it comes to um being able to judge people but god is like don't even watch that video because the spirit behind them when they made some of these videos is so evil and demonic that if i was to watch it they would try to try to sift my gifts out of me you get what i'm saying and so that's why i have to make sure i'm fasting and i'm praying as i'm releasing this out guys you need to make sure that you alarm and alert other people about this because the fact that we are getting we're ministries we're literally supposed to be the leaders women like this are causing for god's true servants to stay and keep their profiles at a low level intentionally because they're making money and they're getting influence off of this and even if they're not making money off of it anymore because god has brought it down the influence is still drawing in connections that they're not supposed to even be having they all will be cursed okay first and foremost because an undeserved curse will not hit its intended victim their finances are cursed they're cursed their revelation is cursed everything about them their spiritual gifts are being sifted from them people around them are beginning to hate them i've seen about four of them out of their mouths say you know people just acted crazy with me out of nowhere and i didn't do anything oh well 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 so you don't like when people do that to you, right? But you don't mind going and ganging up and shadow banning other people's channel. I hope the people and the individuals around those people absolutely turn up on them. They are considered useless in God's eyes. They are useless. They would rather gang up and try to control the um, church in a form of YouTube ministry versus actually yielding to God. God would never cause for a bunch of people to just gang up and go and shadow ban people's channels. Who does that type of stuff? That's the same thing they did with Jesus. That's how you know these people are not of God. God prophesied to me and told me to prophesy it over my ministry that September 16th, he will be here. Okay. September 16th, his judgment is going to be clear as day to the people who were up against his true people. Okay. And guys, if you came into contact or in agreement with anybody on here that has been called out as a false prophet, you need to conduct a fast because I'm telling you when God's judgment comes through the not only do the false prophets get in trouble, but the people that are following the false prophets, their homes get opened up into judgment and a lot of them aren't spiritually developed so they're going to get hit and they're going to think and assume it's satan when in fact it is god giving them everything that they have sown they're now about to reap you want to um you want to sow into an evil and false prophet so guess what all those prophets prophecies and stuff like that none of it's going to happen and you're going to be judged according to your wickedness of your ways so guys please take this video to the lord i pray that it bless you and god bless